Ward up everybody, Mike here from MRMG Ward Penmanship and Design, and today we're doing some leather work. Today we're going to be hand foiling a matte gold signature on a whiskey brown leather blotter for Mr. Brian J. Ortiz. Now I got my pencil, I got my eraser, I got my graph paper, let's go! We're gonna write on the top corner here the name we are designing, just so I have a spelling reference. Brian J. Ortiz. Now I do apologize if I pronounced that wrong. Then we're just gonna lay out all the Spencerian capitals and lowercase letters without any flourishes or connections. And we can start connecting things. Here we got some curious connections. N to J is always difficult. Anything to J really is difficult. It's easy to start with a J, but difficult to connect one. Maybe we will connect it. Maybe we'll just have them look like they're connected. All right, moving through here. Got lots of lines over the T, so I'm going to have to do a lot of balancing. With this B. This might work. It's a little unconventional to B, but I think I like it. You can see here I often go back and forth referencing the highs and lows of the design to make sure that everything is nice and balanced. That's one of the beautiful things about working in graph paper. Now we're just going to start erasing and refining our design. You'll also notice that I don't worry about erasing along an entire line. I find it really easy to erase along a line and then redraw in the lines that cross with it rather than trying to erase skipping over lines. Fine when I do that, the, uh, the lines get a little funky. Now you notice I turn my page 90 degrees quite often. I do this because for me personally, I find it much easier to see the shape and symmetry of an oval when it's on its long axis. So since these are for the most part horizontal ovals, I like to turn my page 90 degrees so I can better see them. So it ensures that everything is gonna look a lot cleaner in the finished design. And here I want to show this one silly little thing, and this is just sort of the workflow with my eraser going from one hand to the other hand, back to the other hand, and back to the other hand. Uh, this isn't specifically something that I trained or practiced, but over designing so many signatures, this little habit, I guess, has made things actually a lot easier. So this is maybe something you can practice. Uh, eraser workflow, we'll call it. All right, I think this is good. I'm about ready to call this done. My shades look all nice and balanced. Now we're ready to go uh, into foil and then onto the leather. So without further ado, cue the music! And that's that. I hope you guys found today's video both entertaining and educational. Tell you what, if you have any ideas of cool color combinations of foil and leather, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to work out some of your guys' ideas in my future videos. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you don't miss out on any future content. I hope that you are falling in love with the process. And don't forget, life should be just a bit of silliness, really.